Hello and welcome to my tutorial on OCRAS Chemistry Unit 1 Waters of Crystallization. Today we're going to talk about hydrated crystals. Hydrated refers to a compound containing water molecules in its structure, and hydrated just means it's a crystalline form that contains water molecules. Anhydrous is a form without water molecules, and water crystallization refers to water molecules that form a part of the crystalline structure of the compound. The empirical formula of a hydrated compound is separated by a dot. The number of water molecules of crystallization is shown after the dot. So for this example, copper sulfate pentahydrate, copper sulfate has five water molecules attached to it. Copper chloride cobalt chloride has six H2O molecules attached to it and Sodium sulfate decahydrate has Na2SO4.10 H2O next to it. Next, we'll move on to part 2 now. And work out the formula of a hydrated salt. So, using percentage or, percentage or mass compositions, um, you can work out the value of water molecules that you need in order to make the salt. So, you use the number of hydrogen atoms to work out the number of water molecules and the oxygen may be split, split between the molecules of water and the ions so if we look at this example at the top right mgcl 2 h 10 o 5 this is its complete empirical formula it can also be identical to mgcl 25 h 20 that's a fairly simple one notice that there's five H2 molecules that can be made out of 10 hydrogen atoms and 5 oxygens to be, can be distributed for every 5 H2 molecules. Now for Na2CH20O13 you realise that Na2CO3 is also a carbonate but there's also 10 water molecules attached to it as well. And for CAN2H8O10, this is a very long one, calcium nitrate twice well the hot nitrate bit is twice to make four H plus four H2O for this one now we move on to part three proving the formula of a hydrated cell so if I heated hydrated magnesium sulfate which is MgSO4 we need three things one mass of the hydrated salt containing waters of crystallization. Two, the mass of the anhydrous salt without the water. And the mass of the water that was in the hydrated salt. The mass of the hydrated salt, MgSO4, dot x H2O, is 4.312 grams. And the mass of the anhydrous salt, MgSO4, is 2.107 grams. Therefore, the hyd hydrate minus anhydrous is 2.205 of H2O. So first we'll calculate the amount of moles of anhydrous MgSO4. So if we put 2.107 over 120.4 equals 0.0175 moles Next we calculate the amount of moles in the water, so then we put the mass of the water 2.205 over 18, then we get 0 0.1225 moles, and then we get the molar ratio 0.175 to 0.12275 sorry, 0.1225 so this is a 1 to 7 ratio this is MgSO4 to the amount of water so then we have the final result MgSO4 dot 7 H2O so x must be equal to 7. Okay, so now we'll 
turn our attention to some quick questions if you want to have a go at any. So turn these empirical formula into dot formula first and then we have the ma this exam question example the mass of calcium chloride dot x h two o is six point five seven three grams and the mass of CaCl two is three point three three grams. I've let got all the um atomic um sorry molar, uh, molar masses for you so you don't have to go get out your periodic table although you can use the site ptable dot com if you want a physical periodic table in front of you while you're watching this YouTube video but if you're on an iOS device then there are some apps you can download I will I can recommend some on my website willsciencechannel.weebly.com but anyway back to the questions um, I'll give you a five second pause and you can come back once you've had a crack at these questions okay hopefully you had a go at those questions so the the answers are here so it'll be barium chloride dot 2H2O for the first one and Z NSO4 or zinc, zinc sulfate plus 7 H2O for the second one and Fe nitrate three times dot 6 H2O that one, was, well, that one was a very very gnarly one but the examiners are thinking of very more harder ones to ask so it's always nice to um, have a go at the harder ones but don't get discouraged if you cannot necessarily do that harder one it took me an age to do it basically um, and for this one step by step calculation 6.573 minus 3.33 gives me the um, the mass of the anhydrous then the, mo the moles of calcium chloride 3.333 over 101 111.1 and then the moles is equal to 0 0.03 and the moles of water for this particular one is 0 0.18 then 0 0.18 over 0 0.03 gives 6 so calcium chloride dot 6 H2O okay hopefully you found that video useful um, thank you for watching and see you soon for my tutorial on titrations Bang.